Now tell me, tell me this, man. Um, second Wayne, kind of from that vibe and that feeling, you know what I'm saying? Um, is had I know for me, I, I felt this way, and I w- always wanted to ask if I ever had a show like to interview cats, I would ask them this because it happened to me. Has there ever been a time that you felt like either the fan base or the record companies didn't allow you to grow artistically? In other words, they want you to keep everything a certain way. Man, you know what I mean? that's the story of my life. And I'm trying to tell you, man, uh, uh, and that's, a, that's, what, that's the first lesson I told, taught my son when he started rapping, man, you know? Mm. And he was real young. And he was about, he was seven when he first rapped, but when he first really let me hear something, he was about 11. <clears throat> and I said, listen, man, if you're going to rap, don't let nobody tell you how you're supposed to sound, what you're supposed to do. I fell mm-hmm. into that trap. Don't, I said, not even me. Don't even listen to me, man. If I tell you you should change it and do something like that, don't even listen to me. That's Be big. confident in what you're doing and know that what you're doing is the, is the sound that you want. Because I always knew what my sound was when I was making it. Yeah. And then, I, for, you know, for some reason, because of whatever I was going through mentally, I started believing outside sources. And that was the, the worst thing I could ever do. You know what mm. I mean? And it, I, I was embarrassed for that, too. You know? Wow. So that, that fed into the whole depression, too. Yeah. So with all that, I felt embarrassed, too. Because of that, you know what I mean. I would have never figured that. Yeah, because you know, when you, when you, you know, when you, when you internalize stuff and you don't know how to express it, all yeah. I had was anger at the time. I didn't have words. Sure. I didn't have, you know, and my songs, I wanted to say other stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they were like, "No, you need to stay in this package." You know yep. what I mean? Yep. You and need that to happened, stay in that. That happened to me. I know exactly how you feel. That's why I asked you that question. Because you got to kind of be an artist at, at that level to know that emotion. Yeah. You know what I mean? To feel that feeling of what that feels like. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, <clears throat> the thing of what I say to people is, um, uh, nobody died. <laughs> now, did you, did you ever turn to drugs or anything like that? No, nah, I got high for a little while, but I never turned to drugs. Oh, man. It, it, I, was, I, it, it, was, it was a social thing for me. Yeah. And as soon as you wasn't social no more, I was done. Fast. But I was an old English guy. Old English. And, yeah. And then I, I got into blunt, but old English. Okay, okay. I, I, I was a liquor drinker. Man, I, I, I'm glad you're not asking me the questions, because that's your man, cocaine, <laughs> acid, shrooms, the whole night. And you still the did. You made, it. you made it on the other side. And I still made it. No doubt. No doubt, man. 